Even government ministers have realized that passengers and taxpayers are being fleeced by a system that means we have not only the highest fares in Europe, but remarkably the biggest government subsidy too. The government has set up a major investigation, the McNulty Report, to reduce costs in the industry, which are also the highest in Europe. 70% of train journeys start and end in London. So that's where I'm going to begin my investigation. On a weekday morning, half a million of us commute by train into the capital. Nationally, there's been a 40% increase in passenger numbers in the last decade, but a less than 10% increase in the number of trains. It's half past seven and I've done many things in my life, uh, but I think this is the first time I've joined a commuter train in the rush hour to go into London. I can't say I'm entirely looking forward to it, but it might be, it might be all right. 